Okay, huge announcement just unveiled by Tesla. Autopilot 2.0, aka Enhanced Autopilot, full autonomy, whatever you want to call it, has just been released. All cars built starting this week now have it, and actually on teslainventory.com, we are already showing the new codes. We already have vehicles that have been posted there with the new codes, so they are coming. Uh, especially inventory models, if you want one, check it out. Link in the description below. Back on topic, Autopilot 2.0. It is here finally, super excited about it. Just thought I'd give you a quick walkthrough on it. So let's actually go to Tesla's website here. So you can see full self-driving hardware on all cars. And if you hover over learn more, it actually says learn more about Autopilot 2.0. Whether or not that was an error on their part, I don't know, but I know they're kind of leaning further away towards Autopilot to a certain degree. So on the page, here you go. Full self-driving hardware on all cars. All Teslas produced in our factory now, including Model 3, have all the hardware needs for self-driving capability. Or at least greater than that of a human driver. <laughs> so autopilot sensor coverage. The new cameras up to eight provide 360 degrees of visibility around the car at up to 200 and 50 meters of range. That's pretty damn impressive. 12 ultrasonic sensors complement this vision, allowing for detection of both hard and soft objects at nearly twice the distance of the prior system. A forward-facing radar with enhanced processing provides additional data about the world on a redundant wavelength that is able to be seen through heavy rain, fog, dust, and even the car ahead. So let's go ahead and look at all these cameras. Hopefully this these colors are getting picked up on here. Anyway, black dots your car. So there are three forward facing cameras. Your wide forward camera right here is 60 meters. Your main forward camera right here is 150. And your narrow up here is 250 meter distance. This red right here is where your radar can see. Then going towards the side of the car, you have your forward looking side cameras, which have a distance of 80 meters. And those are actually on your B pillars, which are the pillars between your front and rear doors. And those actually go out this way, all the way to here and back on either side of the car. Then you have your rearward looking side cameras. Those have a max distance of 100 meters and those actually are around where the side turn signals are on the front fenders and those kind of go like that on either side and then of course you have your rear view camera in your car right now that's at 50 meter distance so on their website you can actually click learn more about it and it will break it down so here you can see the three forward cameras in a little bit more detail and exactly what they cover. Here you can see the forward looking side cameras. These are the ones that are on the B pillar. So you can kind of see that there. Here you can see your rearward looking side cameras. So these monitor rear blind spots on both sides of the car. So those are actually, the way they're shown here is they're gonna be right about where the left and right turn signal on the front fenders are. I guess we'll have to see when I actually get one to play with. And the rear view camera, not just for backing up safely. Uh, um, this one will also help contribute toward the autopilot hardware where before it was just for backing up safely. Um, and obviously that's in the same spot as usual. And then of course the radar, which everyone knows already about because that's so famous and then the ultrasonic sensors so they will have double the range of what's currently on cars so that you can see creates a nice net around the tesla so processing power on the internal computer is now 40 times the computing power of previous generations run on tesla so it's definitely improved and then moment of truth Boom, the new camera systems, that is really nice. Mine on my Tesla is actually just a triangle, so it actually just starts here and then goes like this. This obviously is wider to allow for the three cameras. You can see 
is now Tesla Vision. That is their branded, uh, basically, version of camera software and everything. They have broken up with Mobile Eye and now are using the Navita uh, Titan GPU, which is awesome. So, enhanced autopilot, this is everything it will be able to do. So, currently, if you buy a car, it's all being made with the new hardware, which is awesome. I love that. Only downside is what they're now calling enhanced autopilot, which is replacing standard just autopilot. If you buy it now, you will not get a lot of the features enabled till roughly December. So, here you can see over the air update in December subject to regulatory approval. So until then you're going to be without some things until December. Um, those things include standard safety features such as automatic emergency braking, collision warning, lane holding, and active cruise control. So they want to validate these on the new hardware system before they push them out to the customers obviously a good choice but it does kind of suck for those who are in, currently in an autopilot car buying a new one right now is going to be a little bit of a switch you get used to the features trust me i have very much so myself um so here let's go ahead and go back so these are everything that it will be able to do so it will do on ramp to off ramp uh, so here you can kind of see it will also change lanes automatically currently I have to hit the blinker to change lanes this will do it for you no matter what a lot of what I've really wanted um, auto steer plus so this with the new Tesla vision camera sensing computer power etc uh, will allow your Tesla to navigate a lot tighter more complex roads which is awesome smart summon so someone will basically be able to deal with more complex environments and parking spaces a lot of new objects that can present themselves it can now deal with which is perfect self-driving capability so this is broken out there's so this is broken out there are two new things being offered here there's enhanced autopilot that'll basically get you everything that there is now and then you get the added sensors uh, and you only get four cameras to be used Full self-driving capability is another package, which I'll explain here in just a minute. That enables your car to use all eight cameras on board and more autonomy. So without purchasing those two packages, you won't get it. So you need to remember that. So this is the full self-driving capability section. This is not currently available to use right now in your car if you bought it today. However, it will be coming. All cars built now will have the hardware for this. The big thing is the self-driving functionality is dependent upon extensive software validation and regulatory approval which may vary widely. That's the key takeaway here. This is what they're aiming for. We've always known this is what they're aiming for but it will vary so keep that in mind. Also a huge thing I just saw in here is it does say please note, I'm reading right here if you're following, Please note also that using self-driving Tesla for car sharing and ride hailing for friends and family is fine, but doing so for revenue purposes will only be permitted on the Tesla network, details of which to be released next year. One thing to say about this, Uber and Lyft, I would be crapping my pants right now. Tesla is going to put you out of business. I hate to say it, call me crazy. But this is Tesla's version of Uber and Lyft. It's just the cars will drive themselves. It's the way it is. So if you drive for Uber and Lyft, enjoy it while you can because eventually anybody who buys a Tesla will be able to have their car join the Tesla network and make them money when they're not using it. So these are the self-driving capabilities from home. You get in, you tell your car where you wanna go. If you don't say anything, it'll look at your calendar and assume a destination or if you don't say anything and you're not at home it will just take you home but in doing so it'll find the optimal route navigate urban streets complex intersections with street lights everything stop signs and even freeways so here's their little detailed drawing here and then up here we have to your destination this is a cool feature 
uh, there's that if you want to pause it and read it you can or you can just visit their website um, when you arrive at your destination you step out of your vehicle at the entrance it'll go park itself wherever it needs to and then when you're ready to leave you hit summon on your phone it'll come pick you up pretty brilliant super excited for it and then it just goes into some of the standard safety features that are right there so I guess the biggest takeaway is that they will have eight cameras now, three of which are front facing. The ultrasonic sensors have now doubled in range and the computer is now 40 times more powerful than it was previously. And it includes the Nvidia GPU Titan supercomputer. So that's that's really cool. Um, I really like Nvidia actually. I have my gaming system and I have Nvidia in it. Uh, great GPUs. So, okay, just wanted to give you guys a quick update and show you what it is on Tesla's ordering page. So here on Tesla's order page, you can kind of scroll through this and see standard equipment and then right below it where autopilot used to be, it is now enhanced autopilot. So this gives you the autopilot driving experience. Now they have four cameras on this. They have 12 ultrasonic sensors that show twice the range as the current sensors do a lot of stuff going on here the new computer is 40 times as powerful than before so many things if you want read it it's just it's everything and anything anybody's ever wanted in a self-driving vehicle the only downside is the software is still going through validation and will not be rolled out until December 2016 probably at the earliest subject to regulatory approval. I cannot say that enough. Hopefully it goes quick, but you never know. So this package is now $5,000. If you want after delivery, it's 6,000. When I bought my car, I bought it a couple days before the refresh was announced and I was able to lock in my autopilot package at $2,500. And then when they announced the refresh Model S, like I purchased, they upped it to 3,000. Now it's 5000 but you get so much more for the money. I would have paid this in a heartbeat, to be 100% honest. Um, it's good to think about. Now, here is where it gets interesting. So you have your enhanced autopilot here. Below that, you have your full self-driving capability section. This doubles the number of active cameras from 4 to 8. Keyword being active, your car still has all eight cameras. It just will not utilize them all unless you pay for this package. This will fully enable self-driving in almost all circumstances. The system is designed to do short and long distance trips with no action required by the person in the driver's seat. For superchargers that have automatic charging connection enabled, you will not even need to plug in your vehicle. Automatic charge connection? I'm thinking the snake. Like, I'm gonna put the image over here. I don't know if you guys saw that. I was a huge fan. Hopefully they come out with something like that soon. Not saying I'm not lazy enough to go plug in my vehicle, because I certainly am. But this automatic charge connection enables you to summon your vehicle from across the country. No one has to be there to physically plug it in. It will automatically do it. Uh, this goes a little bit more into detail. Um, but read this in bold here with me. Please note, self-driving functionality is dependent upon extensive software validation and regulatory approval, which may vary widely by jurisdiction. It could be out in weeks, months, years, but you're gonna have the hardware. That is the key feature here. As long as you have the hardware, whenever they push out the software, you're gonna be the first to get it. This is a $3,000 package or 4,000 after delivery. So for me, if I do order a new car to replace my Model S, I'm probably just going to buy the enhanced autopilot package. I'm probably not going to buy the full self-driving capability yet. Uh, it's $3,000. It won't be readily available probably for my guess is a year. I don't know for sure. I haven't heard anything. I'm just throwing out a number. I think with everything it's going to have to go through, the regulatory aspect is going to be ridiculous. So year might even be generous. So I probably wouldn't pay the 3000 now. I would probably just pay the 4000 when the software is ready. Couple reasons being, if I pay 3000 now, that's gonna go on the MSRP of the car and that's gonna raise my taxes. So I'm gonna have to pay the 3000 now and then the taxes on that 3000 and then that also goes towards my plates. Um, 
I'd rather take that 3000 and invest it and end up with more than 4000 in a year and just pay 4000 But at the same token, I do want to give Tesla money to help develop stuff, and this gives them $3,000 more towards developing it. So I guess I have to weigh it. I don't know. Maybe I'll just buy it. It's only $3,000. I don't know. We'll see. So I think that's basically it. Um, I'm kind of curious to know if anybody has an autopilot Tesla, are you going to be keeping it? Are you going to up trade? Are you going to sell it and get something else? Let me know. Um, I have my Tesla Model S that I purchased in June. Well, I actually purchased it in April, picked it up in June of this year. And I'm actually thinking of about trading it in. I emailed my owner advisor and asked if I could get a trade-in quote and see what it's going to take to get me a newer one. I might wait until December or early next year just so that I can get the same autopilot features I currently have on my car available on that one. While they will have the hardware, it just won't be activated until December at the earliest. I just want to make sure they get in the miles make sure everything's approved via regulatory processes and all that fully understand but same point i don't want to give up what i'm used to until then so i might wait till december to upgrade um but we do have another model s on order that has been delayed delivery anyway my buddy will be getting that one in november i'll definitely show you guys everything there is on it it will have all these cameras and everything really excited to see it uh, if you want to check out Tesla's page, go for it. Um, here is the link to straight to the autopilot info. So it's just tesla.com forward slash autopilot. If you go to their main page, it'll take you there too. It's plastered all over. But yeah, let me know what you think of it. Um, I'm curious to see what other car manufacturers do because no one has come close to anything like this. So if I was another car manufacturer, I would be scared if i was uber i would be scared if i was lyft i would be scared but if i was a consumer i would be thrilled like i am right now because this is this is where i want to go i want fully self-driving cars so that it takes out the human variable less accidents safer roads actually less cars even because when i drive to work my car sits for eight hours not being used when i'm at home it sits however many hours i'm at home not being used where as with the Tesla network, it can be out making me money, it can be paying for itself. Uh, this could lead to a future where people don't even own cars. I mean, that's, that's in the realm of possibilities. It could just be you pay a monthly service fee to Tesla and you're able to get a car whenever you want to take you wherever you want. So yeah, um, I think that's enough rambling for now. Thank you for checking it out. If you enjoyed it, give me a like, subscribe, and leave comments down below share if you'd like, and I will talk to you later.